Okay, here we go with video 13. So, as I said at the end of the last video, we'll um, come back to doing the rudder. I left it because of the uh, antiquing, brass antiquing uh, liquid that I had to get. So I've got that now, and I've got all the bits here. I've got the rudder out with the tiller on top. It's not a very good fit, but it'll, it'll glue. It's just a, a stub of the tiller that goes in. And we'll sand that up and we'll put the all the brass bits into the fluid darken them down and then we'll come back and uh, assemble it all hopefully in video 13 it's not gonna play any omens on us i'm not really superstitious anyway there we go so what i've done is i've got them blacked and all dried off, and here they are. Now, there's hinges to put in. So there is one side. One side has a pin, the other's a hole. And they have to be stuck onto these brackets. And they are very fiddly. So what I've done, is you can see this just slot that in there like that where it goes and then just lean them up against there and then what I'm going to do is just go along with a cocktail stick and a little drop of super glue on each one I had to paint the rudder, so I'm still waiting for that to dry, it's still very wet. So I can't do anything with that until that's dried. So, while that's drying we'll move on and do the uh, helmsman bi Helmsman's Binnacle, if you remember, up at the back there. And to get the width, because you can't get a measure in there, all I did is I cut a piece of wood that slots in on the deck and then just mark, mark your width. So that's what we need. So we've got to make up a grating. This grating to go on the front, like that. And that comes in the kit. So we need to have the height of that. It is showing it as coming up four boards, but it's about 12 mil. So what we can do is mark it on our board. You know which one of these squares is 10. So putting those in, that gives us our 22 between, and then we need to go that far across. Yeah. And then we need to glue it.
just go over your joints. There we are. Let that dry. Then we need to trim all the edges off. So that dried, and then I realised that we're doing it the wrong size. I'll show you why. On here, although this is to scale, you can see that that is now a lot shorter. And if we look on the big plan, it gives you exactly the same drawing. But when you look at the cut through, you can see why. So there it is there. But because of the slope, what you're seeing is on the plan, on the front plan, is from there to there. It doesn't show it very clearly, but that's what you're seeing. So that height is actually through there. And obviously the height is governed anyway by the sides that were pre-cut and laminated. And that is exactly the width of four on the gratings. There we go. So for the top, it doesn't show you anything to support it. It just shows one by four which I've cut here and what I'm going to do is just put some tape over the top hold them all together and then with any luck get some glue ready you can see what I'm doing here just moved on. Uh, got the helmsman's binnacle done, which is back there. Didn't need to show you assembling all that. Showed you what it was, glued it all together, sanded all the edges off and then just stuck it into place. So that's, that's that done. One thing I would have done um, if I do it again is when I laminate the sides, I would have actually put them on, put the sides on on the back of the grid and then laminated overlapping the side so that you didn't see the edge of the plywood down there but it's, it's minor detail what I have also done is the rudder but I'm not very happy with it um, very tricky very complicated um, so I'm afraid you'll just have a go at that <laughs> I showed you how to stick the different pieces together then you've got to bend them into shape. I've super glued them to the rudder. Need paint touching up because of finger marks. You could glue it solid because it doesn't need to move. It's just a scale model. Um, you could glue it solid if it makes it any easier. Uh, but then these have got to be bent to go around however you finish the wood. And then I've just super glued them again and pinned them. It, it doesn't look too bad, but it's, it's not perfect. But there we go. So moving on. We now come to the um, hatch covers and the first one is this quite big one shown here. 
it gives all the details here of the timber to cut and how to lay it out so I'll cut all that and stick this bit together and then come back and show you a bit more um, the only other thing is the eye bolts now these these eye bolts are showing is 48 of them and it took me quite a while to do them I want to try and get a close up so I can show you how to do this um, I have done them all because you've got to put the can get focus on this you've got to put the ring on like that so I'll just move the camera in it's really tricky I've antiqued those as well so the one I'll show you is not actually antiqued but So I can see what I'm doing. Right, so you get one of these. And I have a pair of pliers that have got like a point on one side and flat on the other. But then it's just a matter of putting that in there. Just use long nose pliers. And opening it up just a fraction. You're losing focus. And then a pair of tweezers. Grab the other bit and just slide it on. And you're best holding it with your fingers like that. And then just try to look at what I'm doing and keep it in the camera. And then just close it up again like that. That's it. This is the one I'm showing you here. This piece, this piece is actually one of, there's two sizes, this one I'm showing you here is the bigger size, um, but you need to use the smaller size. I got halfway through doing these and then realised I ain't got 48 of them anyway. Um, so it's the smaller ones, the smaller ones you use. Right, so I'm cutting all those to length as per the cutting list here. Uh, just one thing to note is that 127, there's no 127, but it's that piece there. That piece there. If you look at 132, which is 38 long, 127 is 38 long, so I'm assuming it's that one. And the other thing is 130, there's 36 of them to cut. And to do this, I've used my mitre block, if you can see that. And clamp a piece of wood to the right length. Then you know you're gonna get all the pieces the same. Same length exactly. Dead easy, and a needle file, a uh, needle saw. Right, carry on cutting those. Right, I started putting this together, but I just thought I'd come back on and just tell you about something. The measurements are rubbish. The, um, the measurements of 131, which says it's 80. I think it should be, it's either 81 or 82. But when you start putting these together, nothing works. It does, doesn't line up. Um, so what I've done is I've just started at one end and just left these level, cut, recut them and made them all level. Just put one in temporary, just wedged it in just to keep it square. Um, 
but there's just there's just nothing lines up at all the inside ones with the outside ones um, so like I said I've just started at one end overlapped them in the corners where they're supposed to be like that so they're like that same and then when I get to this end I'll cut the cut the bits off that need to be cut off and finish it to the right length just going by these as I put these in so I've got six in now so then we come to one of the 128s cross members so I'll put that I mean that's supposed to be put in probably before 129 which is the, the two by two in there like the shelf that it goes on but it doesn't matter I'm just going to put cut the corners out and just put that across and then when I get to the end like I say I'll have the spacing it doesn't matter if it's exactly that length it can be a little bit shorter it doesn't really matter it just plonks on the deck so just thought I'd let you know that don't um, if you cut everything to this length it won't work right so that's got the upper hatch done plans completely wrong for that completely wrong so if you're doing it my advice is to do what I said these are long strips these full length I cut too many because I thought it was double um, so there's one two three four five six come up, 18 to cut and then it's just a pencil line down the middle to make it look like it's two once you've got all those in push them all through like I did then turn it over drop a super glue and then just trim them off at the back so what we've got to do now is the gratings similar sort of thing which is these there's one on the quarter deck I think it is and one on the fore deck so I'm just going to make up the gratings to the right size and then put the framework around the outside it says scale one to one but it doesn't have to be absolutely bang on like this was the same scale one to one but <laughs> it doesn't even fit okay so we have made the the gratings one and this one um, didn't need to show you how to do that you've seen how to make the gratings put the skirts on around the sides and then I've gone ahead and installed them just stuck them straight down to the deck as per the plan so the next pin bit now is to make the bits They're called the bits and there are three of them three each side anyway Six in total. So that is one four five. That bit there. A bit. One forty, which is that one there. And one four four, which is that one there. So the books, the instruction book is to scale, so we can do them from that. And the instructions are all here to make them very simple so we need to cut these pieces these what, four or five six pieces and there's a little wheel that goes in the middle to make that up so I'll cut all these and then it's just a matter of gluing it together with that in between and drill through and it's just put a, put a nail through the middle of it glued in to hold it all together Right, so we've made up the bits. There is only three, there's one of each. Um, you'll see why in a minute on the plan. They're actually in the middle of the deck, not at the sides. I thought there was one each side. So I've made these up. Uh, just got to finish off um, drilling the holes in the side with the eye bolt. Started there with one. So we'll do the other one. And the little one that hasn't got a pulley in the middle. And then I'll show you another problem with the plan. So I'll just finish these off.
for facing up and down. Just make sure when you put these in that the actual joint of the of the loop is at the bottom. Otherwise you'll have all sorts of problems when you're uh, doing the rigging. Right, so if we look at the plans, there's no no gauge on here whatsoever of which way around to go on the boat. And you can see now that there's only one of each. There's one's there. One is there. And one there. So basically one by each mast. But it doesn't tell you which way around they go. But if we go over the page in the book and we look at the rigging plan, the only thing that gives us some indication is down here. N, M and M. And that's M. So I presume that's looking the same way. So the pulley's there, and the eye bolt is facing forward, and the same with that one. So what I'll do is take the measurements from the plan, Well, the mizzen's easy because that's just in front of the mast, directly in the centre of the mast. And it is. Super glue sticks things a lot quicker, but this wood glue is pretty good as well. It's uh, quite fast setting, but because it goes into the wood, it gives a lot stronger, a lot stronger joint. I did sand all these up, sand the bottom nice and flat and you've got to cut these in, just mark a little with your knife, just a line all the way around and then just gently chisel in with your flat bladed chisel like knife. So, that's those in place. Bit of glue. So the next thing is the tender, which is the little boat. And it comes in, it's already made up, which I don't really like. All the ones on the Victory were, were made up from scratch. Um, which are a lot better, but well, it's just more part of the model if you make it yourself. But I've sprayed this um, good coat of primer, two coats of primer, and then two coats of the uh, satin white, same as I used for the the hull. Uh, but this has got to be fitted out inside, and it's got to have um, a waterline painted around it because the. Uh, at the bottom of the top I think is yeah the top of it above the waterline is a, a wood finish so I've got a bit of painting to do on that so I'll do all that and cut the wood out for it and then we'll uh, we'll come back so they give you this little plan which gives you some detail but it's not that clear and they give you a bunch of sticks and we have to sort it out from there. So I've got it painted with the brown, I've done the brown inside as well. It's 
so it says walnut so that's what I've left it as I'm not going to try and uh, make it fancy and the thin masking tape to make sure I get a nice straight edge I sorted all the different sizes of wood out and we just start putting it together I need another coat inside of the brown first I'm not leaving it So the first thing I did was to make this little deck that goes in the back and the easiest way of doing that was just to lay the boards out um, similar how we did for the um, Helmsman's binnacle and then just stick some uh, 1x1 across on the underneath similar to what it says on the plan and then we can trim it and shape it later. Still need another coat of paint on the inside. And use a piece of blue tack or similar to hold it steady. That's what I've used anyway. And by doing that, you can you can keep it steady, keep it in one place. And then just use find a piece of wood the right size to draw your waterline around. Just use it as a guide. Draw your waterline, just follow it around. So now we need to start sticking these little pieces in here. Um, I'll start putting them in, but I'm not sure I'm going to follow this plan the way it's written here. But we'll see how we go. So that's it for this week. I've got the little boat done. Um, a little tender or lifeboat. I haven't done it exactly to the plan. Uh, there's no details for the rudder, so I've just carved that and the tiller from a piece of the uh, five by one that's supplied in the little boat kit. But all it shows you on there is um, just that little bit there. And this isn't the scale, it's tiny. And I haven't done the inside of the boat. As it says, I don't quite understand uh, what this bit is here with these uh, one by ones. I think they are and three, yeah, one by one strips uh, running that way, and then to put the deck in on top there. Anyway, what I've done is just made the deck inside. I've run some one by ones uh, across crossways same as the seats underneath and then just carve four pieces of uh, of decking in the bottom there and then put the seats on I think it looks all right so there we are that's the bits that we did the little pulleys they're going to be interesting threading those So that's it, we'll come back, This uh, the boat isn't fixed yet, we'll come back and uh, fix that on in the next video for next week. See you then.